Japan's de facto ambassador to Taiwan, Izumi Hiroyasu, paid a visit to FTV's headquarters on Wednesday. The diplomat was shown the latest tech in television broadcasting. He also stopped to chat with FTV reporters about his time in Taiwan. After four years as Japan's envoy, Izumi is set to retire in November. He says that he has a deep appreciation for the country, stressing that Taiwan and Japan have grown considerably closer over the years. Japan's de facto ambassador to Taiwan, Izumi Hiroyasu, visited FTV's headquarters on Wednesday. He was welcomed by FTV general manager Liao Jifeng, who led a tour of FTV's new virtual studio. Izumi experienced the studio's state-of-the-art screen, which showcased events he attended during his tenure. Izumi was visibly touched. <laughs> I like everything about Taiwan, really. It's just like how Taiwanese people like everything when they go to Japan. It's very regrettable that President Li Denghui passed away. When I decided to come to Taiwan, I was really looking forward to meeting him and chatting with him. There were many questions I wanted to ask him, but I have lost that chance forever. Izumi said his biggest regret was missing out on meeting former President Li Denghui. Even so, over the past four years, Taiwan-Japan ties have flourished despite the pandemic and geopolitical shifts. For Japan, having the friendship of a country like Taiwan is a joy. Although we don't have official diplomatic ties, I feel like our relationship is even better than that between diplomatic allies. Izumi said that the late Abe Shinzo's statement that a Taiwan emergency is a Japanese emergency had raised awareness in Japan about security issues in the Taiwan Strait. With the end of his term drawing close, Izumi expressed one regret, that he won't be able to facilitate Taiwan's entry to the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. I have always wanted to help Taiwan join the CPTPP because the CPTPP is very important for the future of Taiwan. Izumi is set to step down in November and return to Japan. He said that Taiwan, his last assignment as a diplomat, has been a remarkable closing chapter.